Call me an Aussie bogan, but not much more floats my boat than a dream boat doing a shoe. This is one of the most disgusting traditions. Yep, that's pop heartthrob Harry last night. I'll be discussing this with my therapist at length. At length. Once upon a time, would make famous visitors squirm over a spoon of veggie meat. Why? Now it's chugging lukewarm beer from a dirty sneaker while we laugh at their expense. These boots are made. Chewy. This Harry business got me thinking, where on earth did this noble Aussie tradition come from? While F1 King Daniel Ricciardo may have thrust it into the global spotlight, according to my extensive investigations, well, a Google search, racing drivers Ryle Harris and David Reynolds are credited with kickstarting the craze in 2015. He's going to drink out of the boot. But then, with this YouTube clip of some surfers doing shoeys in 2006, yeah. I don't know what to believe. Yeah. What? Hang on. According to Wikipedia, Aussies may have nothing to do with the Shoei's humble beginnings. Apparently, our German friends have been chugging booze from boots since the mid-1800s. And other historians reckon drinking from a shoe was seen as good luck as far back as the Middle Ages. Kate Langbrook, we have to stop meeting like this. It's our dirty little secret. Oh, that it is, isn't it? Speaking of dirty, mm. night cap. Oh, absolutely. Chin chin. This is clean, right? Don't speak, just drink. <laughs> so, the Shoey, a true blue Aussie icon or a smelly swamp sip we should be ashamed of? What a moon sugar. Oh, not even Harry Styles doing a Shoey can make it sexy in any way. No. What about, about Kate Langbrook well, and Sam Tawny, maybe? <laughs> well... Oh, was that your real, was that your shoe? No, no, that no, wasn't my shoe. Not. And in fact, you should have heard our discussions mm. behind the scenes about who had worn those shoes. Yeah. Oh. 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 Walid mm. had. Walid. I think, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, Walid. 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 Shoes. Yeah, yeah, disgusting. Well, they had my name on them, so yes. Um, <laughs> have you ever? In have I ever? No. Shoeed? No. Oh, no. no. You, should we stop doing this? Yes. Should we stop getting... No, what? we can't it's stop so it. Why can't the we stop fungus it? fungus and the... No, you can't. You know what? It's like trying to get people to change your nickname. Oh. You know, you just can't. Once it's, once it's thrust upon you, that's it. I th no, I think it's quite different to that. We could just stop asking <laughs> celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 quite easy. it's just how culturally <laughs> vapid Australia has become. Oh, that no, we, we also had horses and by Daryl Braithwaite sung at the oh, Harry Styles. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But that was pretty shoey. Yeah. See, that's, yeah, that was high watermark. Yeah. 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 Well, maybe it'll outlaw Crocs because no one will want Crocs because you can't do a shoey. Yeah. So it's kind oh. of like that's actually a net win, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. OK. And